Hello and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video we'll be showing how to edit and change and otherwise manage users on alarm.com. So to get started, over on the left hand side we simply click on the users that brings up our users tab and from here we can do our actions. So we will be adding a user, we will be editing that user, and then we will finally be deleting that user. We can of course edit and delete any pre-existing user, for example, a master user. So let's get started. To add a user, all we need to do is come in the upper right hand corner and click add user and then fill out the information. I'll call this one temp user down here, English, if they speak English or maybe some other language. Uh, right over here, we can add on some other contact information. For example, if they have a cell phone, we can put in their number. Five. What up their provider is. This is a horizon. We can also add other information, for example, an email address. Or we can add on a phone number. Down at the bottom here is where we give this user access to our panel. So we click on the lock and then we click on the panel button here. And then over here, we just put in any user code we want. Over here is where we control what type of locks they have access to. Simply click to check or uncheck the locks that we want them to have access to. And then finally, we have the scheduling down at the bottom. At all times mean this code will work at all the time. Limit access times, this will limit when this code will work. This would be used in cases like say maybe we have a house sitter, babysitter, dog walker, plant waterer, whatever, who needs to come over at a specific time. All we would need to do is simply click on the days we want this code to work. And then on the bottom, we can limit the times. So let's say we have a kid who gets out after school, and we know school gets out at 3, and maybe they're only there for an hour or so. So we're going to go from 3 to 4. So this code will only work between the hours of 3 to 4 on the weekdays. Or we can just simply hit at all times. Save when we're done. Oop. Make sure everything's filled out. Save when we're done. To edit a user, all we have to do is come down, find the person we want to edit, hit the pencil, and then we can change anything that we just changed. For example, add a lock, or maybe we can change the code to something else, and hit save. We can quick edit a code from this page. All we have to do is click on the code, and we can change it to whatever we like. Update here. And finally, to delete a user, all we have to do is hit the trash can right here, and that user's gone. So, in this video, we took a look at our users, we added a user, we went through the options for adding a user, we edited a user, we quick edited a code, and then we deleted that user. So, be sure to check out some of our other tutorials that you see here, and we will see you on the next one.